Hello everyone, this is Jozef Notch here and I'm bringing you this video in order to show you how you can install OpenFoam in 2022 in Windows 11. Last year I already posted a video for Windows 10. Back then I promised that I will also record a video for Windows 11 and now this is the video. So, as you can see this is my new um, laptop with Windows 11. It's actually a remote desktop connection for uh, recording purposes, but Windows 11, fresh Windows 11 uh, install. Uh, please make sure that you update your system to the latest release. And so I am using currently uh, Windows 11 and version 21H2 with this OS build. So please make sure <coughs> that you have your uh, latest version. I think it should work with all Windows 11 versions, but it's always a good idea also from a security perspective to be on the latest version on of Windows 11. <coughs> and then the key point is here to um, open up now the new Windows terminal. So not CMD, the command line, not CMD, but rather the Windows terminal. So if you type here in terminal, then you know terminal and you open it up as an administrator. Okay. Yes. Now this is the cool new Windows terminal that you can use for a lot of things, but here we are going to use it to install the Windows subsystem for Linux and we type in WSL space minus minus install as you can see and then I press enter. <coughs> now this is installing some things. Don't forget uh, that you need um, internet connection. But I think nowadays this is not an issue. And so this enables the Windows subsystem for Linux and it downloads now the kernel. So And this Windows subsystem for Linux is um, kind of a virtual machine. Maybe it is a virtual machine and it translates Windows uh, processes to uh, uh, so Linux processes to Windows processes. So actually what you are running is a Linux within Windows. So you are actually installing OpenFoam in Linux and not Windows, but you are running the Linux OpenFoam commands in Windows with this Windows subsystem for Linux. So I will just skip ahead until it's downloaded to 100%. Okay, now we are reaching the end of the download. It's at 100. Now the GUI app support is being installed. And now this is the cool thing. You don't have to go to the Microsoft Store anymore with this uh, WSL space minus minus install. Ubuntu is automatically downloaded for you. So uh, there is the possibility to download other Linux versions. P please just Google it. How if you want to use Debian or something, uh, another uh, uh, Linux distribution, but Ubuntu is coming out of the box just by typing in that one command WSL space minus minus install. <coughs> okay, so let's wait until this finishes and then continue. Okay, now we're we are nearing the end of the download of Ubuntu. And now it's finished. So it says the requested operation is successful. So great. Changes will not be effective until the system is rebooted. Okay. So now at this point we have to reboot the system and then once we come back, we can continue with the further steps. Okay. So now we are back after the reboot, uh, this, um, Window appeared automatically. It said installing. This may take a few minutes. It was very fast. So I couldn't even start my recordings. And now it already asks for my Unix username. So this is your choice. This doesn't have to be your Windows username. I use my standard username here. Uh, choose yours. 
and now just type in your password this also doesn't have to be your windows password any password will do please don't use one two three four five use a reasonable password uh, i will do so here myself Okay, and now we have a working Ubuntu. So this was step one, installing Ubuntu in Windows 11. It was very easy, just opening up the, um, the, 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 the new, new Windows terminal and typing in WSL space minus minus install, nothing else. And now we just had to type in our username and the password two times. And don't forget that in, uh, in Linux, if you type in a password, no stars are appearing. So it seems like you don't type in anything, but actually uh, you do type in. So, so no stars are appearing while you're typing in your password. Okay, so now we have here our uh, Linux. Uh, you will also be able to access it with the recommended tab or just you can just type uh, you, you look for Ubuntu and then you can just immediately click it. You can also just um, pin it to the taskbar for later just click it there and now we want to install OpenFoam and this is now really the same steps as in Windows 10 and this is what I'm going to do now. Now you may notice the difference um, in date, the jump from March to August. Uh, if you follow me on social media, you may know that I had some health issues with long COVID, but now I'm back and I'm going to show you how you install OpenFoam. So the previous versions are still valid and now I'm going to show you how to install OpenFoam. I did not install 2206 so now I thought that this was a perfect opportunity to record it and show you how it works. So I, I showed you how this uh, how the installation of uh, VSL works. So the easiest thing in uh, Windows 11 is to just open the Windows terminal and then type in WSL and there you go you have already the Windows subsystem for Linux installed and with CD you go into your Linux home. Now how do we install OpenFoam in uh, Windows 11 and for that you bring up your favorite uh, internet browser and you type in openfoam.com and there here under download we want to install the current um, Linux version because we have Ubuntu under VSL so here we go Linux and then I also want to install it under Ubuntu so all we have to do is um, copy and paste these commands and then we can run the simulations okay so this is what I'm just going to do so I'm just going to copy this command here and paste it enter and it asks for a password I'm just going to enter it running at get update so this may take a while in your case also in my case so let's wait until this finishes Okay, so that is finished now. Repository is set up. You can now install packages. Good, very good. So now I am just going to copy this next command and this should install OpenFoam. Okay, so what uh, does this mean with this uh, dash default? And this was explained, I believe, on the page before. So where is it? Um, Yes, here it is. Um, no. It is here. Okay. So um, if you just uh, type in uh, sudo apt get install open from 2206 dash or, or no dash and nothing, then you will get a minimalist installation. If you type in dash dev, then you get the traditional. Um, 
installation and by uh, typing in dash default, you get everything. So I just copy uh, whatever is here. So press enter. And now, do you want to continue? Yes. And now open foam is being downloaded. So now let's wait until this download and the installation finishes and then let's see what happens in the end. Okay, so now we are back, it finished and there are a couple of lines that we should carefully read at the end of the inf installation. Uh, so it says registered uh, OpenFoam 2206 with OpenFoam selector, different ways to set up OpenFoam. So uh, there is this opportunity to type this in, then um, you can also you use the open form selector uh, dash dash set open form 2206 and then source it manually from the bash file which in previous versions i did that um, to enter it into bash rc but let's just try to use um, uh, this command so what happens if i enter no not this you can try this out also so what happens if I copy this and enter it here? Okay, and now we are in an open foam shell in my home. So let's see what happens if I type in simple foam. And you can see that we are running 2206. Now, if you want to run uh, the other uh, version so we can also use this open foam selector and then type in simple foam and then simple foam is not found very interesting okay and then the last thing that we can do is add this line in our bash rc and i personally would advise you to do that uh, because with that, you every time you uh, open up uh, Windows Terminal, or actually when you type in v, uh, WSL in your Windows Terminal, then your 2206 version will be loaded. Now, how do you enter this into your .bash RC file? This part is usually where some confusions appear, especially if you guys don't have any experience in Linux. So what I usually do is I open up a hidden text file with a text editor that is in the terminal and this text editor is called nano. So you can follow along as you want and then dot bash rc like this. And then I can go until the very bottom and then just um, add uh, this one line with the right mouse button uh, to in order to uh, source um, the version um, 2206 automatically. I'm uh, so and now I can uh, save this by co passing Control O and Enter and exiting Control X uh, um, uh, uh, will exit uh, Nano. But with that uh, mm, terminal. Uh, text editor some of you are a bit confused so what you can do instead you can type in explorer.exe space and then dot this will open up your ubuntu home and then you see that there is this bash rc file and then let's try and open it up in notepad plus plus so as you can see, now you can uh, open it up in a normal text editor. Don't open it up in Notepad because Notepad uh, formats everything in Windows format. And it, as you can see here, it has to be edited in Unix format. This is very important. Notepad++, not Notepad. And then you can just manually add this one line here. So uh, you don't have anything in the bottom, just copy paste it and save it. And then that's also a way to, uh, s uh, to add this one line. And then if I now open up a new 
Windows, term, uh, Windows Terminal, I type in VSL, CD, and so I go into my home folder. And now let's see what happens if I type in Simple Foam. Yes, so Simple Foam, enter. And now you can see with this one line added to this .bashrc file, uh, the version 2206 is automatically loaded. So with that, now if you have a simulation, you can start running it. Now the, the last question is, uh, where is the installation location? And the installation location is, is on the previous um, page. And here it says it is in slash user slash, uh, sorry, slash user slash lib. Open foam and open foam 2206. So let's uh, take a look at it. Lib open foam and then open foam 2206. And as you can see, here are your, your installation files. Now, if you want to run the tutorials, I would strongly recommend to copy uh, the tutorial that, that exact tutorial to your home because you may not have writing privileges in slash user but you will definitely have writing privileges in your home so for example if i just want to run a simple form tutorial i can just copy from user um, lib open form open form 2206 and tutorials incompressible simple foam and i believe i wanna um, for example the pits daily tutorial why not pits daily and now i can um, run block mesh to create the mesh and then run simple foam <coughs> and this will run around the simulation now, I don't know how long this is uh, going to run. I'm just going to stop this by pressing Ctrl C. I have two iterations saved at 100 and 200. And now I can take a look at the results by um, op uh, opening it up in Paraview. The simplest way is to just type in touch open.foam. What this does, if I just open up this folder in Explorer, this created this empty text file with the extension .foam and you, in Windows you can add any kind of extensions, uh, you can combine the extensions with a certain software, so I combined it with Paraview, so I can now just double click this open.foam file and I can take a look at the simulation results. It, it is not converged, of course I stopped it but as you can see, yeah, this is now the usual flow pattern in the Pitts Daily case. Now, where do you get Paraview from? This is also something that I'm asked a lot. And you guys try to install the Linux version in uh, WSL. It is not needed. The, the, the simplest way is to just uh, um, paraview.org, to just go to paraview.org and then go to the download section and just um, get the latest version of Paraview and then download it, uh, any of these versions. This is the latest version. If you have some issues, then um, I would recommend to go back to a previous version. So if there are some bugs, uh, version 4.3 and 4.4 usually works, but the latest version has have new features, cooler features. So first I would advise you to take the newest version unless you have some problems with the newest version, then you can just go back to versions 4.3 or 4.4. Those work also um, for sure with um, open form simulations. Okay, so that was it. Uh, so in summary, uh, you can um, in install VSL you can see that uh, in the first part of this video and I'm going to divide up this video into chapters in the um, 
uh, in the description box below so you can uh, if you take a look at the timeline of this video you can select at the individual parts so you install VSL and then you go and open up uh, Windows terminal with WSL and then just by typing in these two commands you can easily install OpenFoam and then either by using this command you can load up OpenFoam or by uh, sourcing uh, the, the, the latest version in your Bash RC, just like I showed you in Notepad++, you can load it automatically every time you open up WSL and then you can just run your simulation. So that was it. Sorry for the long break between WSL and OpenFoam, but now it is the, the video is finished and now I can upload it. So with that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.